Have you ever heard of bacterial vaginosis or BV? It's one of the most common vaginal infections out there, but loads of people don't even know what it is or how to treat it. And there is some new research that might completely change how we think about it. So stick around because this could be a game changer. So first things first, what is BV? Well, it isn't an STI. So it's not a sexually transmitted infection, but it is caused by a disturbance in the mix of bacteria in the vagina. So normally there's a healthy balance of millions of friendly bacteria that keep everything in check, just like we think about with our gut health now. But in BV, that balance gets disrupted and the bad bacteria starts to overgrow. So the most common symptom is a vaginal discharge that's often white or grey in colour and has a really strong fishy smell to it, especially after sex. The discharge tends to be heaviest just before a period or after sex. So this is important. The discharge doesn't usually cause itching or soreness around the vagina and vulva like we get with thrush, but it can really be distressing and make women feel unclean, even though BV is not caused by poor hygiene. So why does it happen? Well, we don't exactly know what triggers the bacterial balance to shift, but we know it's more likely to happen if something disturbs the natural acidity of the vagina. That, that acidity is actually caused by the good bacteria and it helps keep the bad bacteria in check. So when the acidity drops, the bad bacteria called anaerobic bacteria can overgrow, leading to BV. So things like douching, so kind of washing too much down there or using scented products can actually mess with that acidity, making BV more likely to develop or worsen. So let's talk about risk factors. BV is more likely to happen if you've had a recent change in your sexual partner, if you've got a, a coil in an intrauterine device, um, if you smoke or if you've had BV before. So, but just remember BV is not an STI and it can happen even if you're not sexually active. So what about this new study? Well, it suggests that treating both partners, including the male partner, might help prevent BV from coming back. And this is really important because some women really suffer from recurrent BV. So researchers found that the bacteria causing it can be passed back and forth between partners. So treating both can really break that cycle. So if you think you might have BV, you can get things over the counter to help treat it. And if that's not working, then do see your doctor. Sometimes we just ask for a simple, simple swab test you can often do yourself and then prescribe you some antibiotics in the form of gels, creams or tablets. So remember, if everything else you forget, avoid douching, so washing too much down below or using scented products. And this can make things worse by disrupting your natural balance of bacteria. So BV is treatable, so don't suffer in silence. I'm Dr. Sophie GP, here to help you understand your health and feel more in control. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with someone else who might need it and subscribe for more health tips. And if you've experienced BV, let me know in the comments what's worked for you. Let's keep the conversation going. See you next time.